Hi, I'm Jerry Drager, Drager's International Classic Sales in Seattle, Washington. We're here at Drager's Clubhouse to show you this really nice, not show quality, but very, very nice 1949 Chevy five-window pickup. Now, this pickup, I grew up in these trucks. I, in fact, I had to go back and look at old photos of the original one. That's where I, I got my license suspended in one of these, and I took my driver's test in it, and I was still driving it. But it was a three-window and not a five-window like this. This is much more desirable being a five-window. And it's also set up with a four-speed transmission, which is what I had when we grew up. When I grew up, uh, it was the uh, four-speed. So it's a 216 in here with a four-speed. Now, the one I had was a 52. I shouldn't say I had, Drager's Motorcycle Company, Drager's Harley-Davidson had it, and it had the vent windows in it, and it was just, uh, it was a great driving truck. I drove it a lot. These trucks still run and drive great just the way they are. I mean, you, you, you'd be impressed with how much you can put in the back of one of these things. It'll carry way more weight than what it probably should, because I've loaded them before, and this truck, it's an interesting story on this truck. This truck, uh, I have receipts back to, I think, 2002 on it. It was sold twice by the same dealer down in California, and the second time it came up here to Washington. And this guy bought it, and he didn't have a place to keep it, and he had a friend that had a barn on Lopez Island. So he took this up to Lopez Island and kept it there. And he was going to drive it in one of the, pra the uh, parade up there. And the day before the parade, the rear, actually wasn't the rear end, it was a U-joint let go in the uh, drive shaft. And so he didn't get to drive it. And that was one of the last times he was going to get to drive this truck. I mean, he bought this as his dream truck. And it, it just, it's a pretty truck. I mean, he got himself a really nice truck. We, we found a little spot of rust in it. We'll show you that on the uh, underside video. Uh, and it's very, very minor. I mean, everything looks good on this thing. The, the wood bed in the back could be stand to be refinished probably, but it looks good just the way it is. Interior is very, very nice. I gotta tell you, a truck like this is hard to come by. I mean, it, again, I'd like, I, I don't wanna tell you it's a show truck, but I would drive this truck anywhere. Now this is all stock. It's still got the gearing in it that uh, you would go down the road at 50 miles an hour and that's as, about as fast as you want to go in this truck. You can change that. You can get a ring and pinion. Uh, Patrick's down in uh, Casa Grande, uh, Arizona, sells a ring and pinion to put it in this and you can, then you can run it down the road on the freeway with no problem. Anyway, I think you'll be real impressed with this. Watch the video all the way through the end. We'll drive it down the freeway for you and everything so you can see it. First hand going down the road, you'll be able to hear it and see it, the whole works. Driver's side, it's just like the whole rest of this car. It shines, it really looks good. Yeah, there's a spot or two here and there. There's a little chip right there I noticed. Uh, and I try to point out things. Uh, it's got tie downs on, on all, four corners of the bed here. There's another little, nope, that was just a piece of dirt. There's a little spot right there. And these wheels, of course, look real good on this truck. You know, you might want wide whites on it. They, they really look good with wide whites, but these tires are real good shape, so why, why change them? This all looks good, all, everything. A little chip right there in the paint. Well, that was just dirt. Now, you can see the vent is right there. And, and it feels real good through this whole corner. You'll notice when we show you back in here, I can feel a little bit of a Bondo edge there, but I don't feel anything out here. And you'll be able to see it on the underside video. This, uh, there's a chip right here. There's two chips right there. Kind of like the, on the other side a little bit. All this looks real good across here. This, these door handles, you, if you want to make it look a little better, you could put new door handles on here. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a few chips on this side. That's from people getting in and out. And of course, they could be brush touched with black paint and they, those things would all disappear. Something we didn't do. This is all real clean in here. These, this window here goes up and down just fine. And they close good. Uh, so everything here looks really good. 
This is pushed in maybe a little bit. I, there's a little spot right there. Nothing you would change or mess with. You got a chrome outside mirror on here. Uh, this is a uh, door vent here, uh, air vent. And that works from inside here. You can see it closes, opens up there. So that, that's how that works. There's a little spot right in there, but you can't even really see it from here. This has got a little bit of a gap on here on the on this side. It could be back a little bit more, but I don't know that you're going to make it fit any better than what it does right there. It's pretty typical of these pickups. They don't always fit perfect. You want a perfect fit in one, you got to buy a show car that somebody spent thousands and thousands of dollars on. There's a little uh, spot right there. Tires are all good. Everything looks good all across the hood. I did notice when I, uh, there's a spot right up here on the hood. Oh yeah, right there. It's kind of a blister in the paint. I'll show you the close up. Otherwise, this all looks real good. Oop, there's a spot right there too. The front end of this truck looks all real good. You know, it, it, it painted uh, grilled and all match. And then the chrome bumper on here, of course, I can tell that's been replaced on it. It's super nice. Uh, but all this looks good. The fit on this uh, hood here, you know, the, these all vary. They never came from the factory to, that were perfect to fit. And I, I see a little chip right there. And there's some spots down in here a little bit. And there's another spot right there. There's a little chip on the corner of the hood right there. Uh, this, I know, has been replaced because it's beautiful. I mean, I'm just looking here. Everything looks really good on here. You know, and I look back here, even though this paint looks real good, I can see some little spots in it. That, I mean, you got to look for these spots really, uh, really hard. So, uh, but they're there. So I'm not telling you it's a show truck, but it's a, it looks real good. To open up the hood, you just reach right underneath here, pull forward on the lever, lift up on this, and then there's a catch right underneath here, and just lift, lift up on it. And you can see how clean this, this is in here. Uh, the engine looks good. It had a couple of oil leaks. In fact, uh, Andrew replaced this rocker cover on here because it was still leaking a little bit after we fixed it even. And now he's uh, got all the oil leaks stopped this thing. Almost like there's something wrong with this truck because it it really hardly drips any oil now, and that's pretty standard on these things to drip some oil. You can see the carburetor right here has been rebuilt. It's got an oil filter on here and uh, stuff. And let's go around to this side here. You can come around, and you can see this. This is really clean and nice. Fuel pump looks like it's almost new. I don't know that we replaced that, or I know we didn't. And right down here, you can't very well see it, it, but that's where the engine number is, and that's how this is titled, to that engine number. So this is the original engine in this truck. This side, it look, you know, it's just like the, all the whole rest of the truck. It all looks real good. I would tell you whoever painted this truck could have done a better job on it. Would you repaint it? You're not going to repaint this truck. It looks good the way it is. I mean, if you want a show truck, you need to spend... Uh, that 35 or 45 or 50, whatever they're going for at Bear Jackson for a show truck. But I'll tell you what, it won't be any better truck than what this one is here, other than the finish on it, maybe. You've got the good looking wheels on here, the chrome wheels with a hat cap on here. Tires are, uh, they got a lot of tread on them, and they look good. This whole thing all across here, everything looks good along here. Now this doesn't have the vent window in it, uh, as you see. They didn't put the vent windows in until 1952. Now there's a chip in the paint right there, and there's a couple other little spots. Some of this is just dirt I see on here, another chip. There's a spot there. So, you know, people will put their feet on the running boards regardless. There's a little chip right there on the paint. But, and I see another, well, that, some of this stuff might come off a little bit. The window, it works just fine, as you can see. And the door closes good. I was probably in the way of that door, but it does close just fine. Uh, corner windows. I noticed a little scratching right here on the on this corner window a little bit. As you can see, this corner of this cab looks real good. The drain vents here, just like it's supposed to be. It, it feels good. 
but all this looks good. I, there's finish on here. A guy could probably sand this a little bit on the, especially on the top rail in here, on the tops and and restain it a little bit maybe. Uh, there's a little spot right there. And there's a little. That's a little rough spot in the paint right there, kind of cracking. Who knows what? Uh, everything else looks real good. Sometimes you get just in the right light, you can see things and and. Uh, yeah, I see stuff right, like right there is little bubbles. There's another little bit of bubbles. I don't think that's rust bubbles at all because there's no rust in this truck anywhere other than the one little spot we found. The rest of it, you know, I just, uh, uh, I think it's paint prep the way it was painted. There's a little bit of a chip in the paint right there. This piece here on the back, uh, I'm not sure quite. I haven't played with it, but there's a bolt that goes down into here. I, it probably goes all the way down to this one because it this piece is solid it doesn't move uh, so if you wanted to use this as a truck and needed to take this off you're going to have to disconnect it you can see we got chips in the paint right here and of course we got the chain tie downs here and I got this rubber covering over them you can see the chain right there uh, I was noticing the tail lights on here they look like they've been replaced this all looks brand new to me I mean there's new bolts down there and again, this bumper here on the rear has been replaced also, or re-chromed, because it's all like new. The tailgate, of course, looks real nice. I don't think that this truck has been used much for, for anything uh, other than looks. Oh, that little bit of bird stuff there. We don't want to get into that. But as you can see, it's all, it's all real clean. This tail light even got blue dots in here. And this tailgate will go down real easily. You just have to undo these uh, two sides. And you can lower this down, put the chains in here, and you're, you're, you're set right there. So you can, you can put a lot of weight on there, and I know this firsthand. You can see the wood bed in here. Uh, it's curling, the, the finish is curling up on that end. Maybe the wood is even curled up, but most of this is where it's, you know, this finish has uh, come off of it. See, there's a little bit of turning up right here. It's solid. So. You could leave it the way it is. You could take these boards out and re-sand them, or you could leave it. You know, I just leave it the way I do it. I, this is a really nice driver quality truck. I mean, you can see how clean the inside is, the beds. It's not all banged up across the front there. Yeah, I see some denting in there. I mean, which is should be expected of being a pickup truck. And of course, to close this, it's the same way. You just undo these, slide these in, put them in and you're ready to go again. Now when you're driving down the road and you want some air in here, you can just open the vent up and it, get your air in and when it's cold, you can close it back down. There's your headlights, high beam, low beam, park lights, turn signal left, turn signal right, wipers. Now they'd work a little better if they had some water on them. They're, they're brand new wiper blades on there too. And horn works. I believe this is probably the original steering wheel which is in pretty decent shape. Goes along with the rest of this truck being really great. And of course you can see it's reupholstered and the upholstery looks real good in here. Uh, the floor mats in here, they they all look good, and uh, you can see everything in here. By the way, this is a four-speed four transmission, so that when you push it up there, that's a compound low. You only need that when you got a big load or you want to go really slow, throwing a bale of hay in. So that's second, but you can almost say it's first. Uh, there's third, and that's fourth, and then you pull it way over and back for reverse. So that's how the transmission works on here. And uh, you can just see everything else is really clean and nice in this thing. The headliner on this is really nice and I'll bet it helps uh, absorb sound because originally they're cardboard in here and so uh, this is cloth. This visor right here, it works uh, okay but it's still got a problem a little bit so putting it down here it won't fold down while you're driving down the road. Yeah. And if as you can see, there's marks right in here. They continue across. 
you can see there's like three lines right there and then it continues here too so I don't know exactly what it what it is but it's there and I wanted you to know it you can see that it it's all clean in here I mean there's some spots here and in here but it basically it's clean looking uh, nothing fancy you can see all this has been painted so it all looks decent you can see this this is all good and solid you can see it got some moisture in there that's all that is and we just put a new battery in here so you can see this brand new battery Andrew just put in today this would normally have levers on here to go through the blades that go through here to lock this on it doesn't move around or rattle when you're driving down the road so I wouldn't worry too much about it you can see this is the heater hose uh, right here and it looks like at some time or another it had a heater on it and this would be the intake for the uh, heater for the fresh air from outside and here's on both sides on the other side over there same thing there's a bad spot right here in this kick panel I just wanted to point out this bad spot here on this side too. Everything looks uh, decent on here. Not show, but it's clean and decent. And yes, you got some chips and spots in the in the paint and everything, but overall, you'll like driving this truck. Now, this is not the VIN tag. This number right along here, that's not the VIN number. This is titled to the engine. So remember, if you ever decide to do something with the engine you'll need to go to your state patrol in your state and have it registered differently so that when you take the engine out and put another engine in you'll have a serial number otherwise you won't be able to prove that this truck is yours or not okay. now to start this you have a starter button right there so you turn the key on and you can rock your foot onto the gas if you need to and right up here is the choke. If when it's cold, you'll need the choke. This, of course, is your your ignition switch right here. This is the choke, as we showed you. This is the wiper button right here. And this switch, it's blank. There's no wires hooked to it or anything else. Something was hooked to it at one time. And this uh, plate here is the way they came from the factory when they didn't have a radio in them. So this button, it would, and there'd be another button right here in this hole. And, it, and the speaker would be behind this grill right here. This is your ashtray. And it looks like, it's hard to say, but there's nothing in here. That's where a cigarette lighter would have been. Your glove box, of course, is right here. Sometimes you gotta, you got to treat these trucks. You can see this bed, uh, glove box looks real good and everything. Dome light works. This is the park brake right here. Andrew would just tell me it doesn't hold good. Sometimes they get that way from the old, and to release it, you just pull right there, and it's off. Now you can see the gauge, you can see the amp gauge. By the way, we just put a brand new battery in here today, so it's good. You can see the oil pressure comes up. This gauge is not working. The gas gauge does work, but we have a temperature gauge right down here in the bottom down here. See, we got a spare tire down here underneath and it's got lots of tread on it. it's an old bias supply tire but that's okay you only need it if you need it and uh, the underside you can see the underside of the uh, wood uh, on the bed and it's all just like the top side really nice and clean and looks good it's clean it's been you know it, this this truck has since it was restored and painted and I assume that it was off the frame looking at it you I mean you watch the video as we go forward here you you see what you think now, because it's the frame has been painted at some time or another, and I would assume it was off the frame when they did that, but I don't know that for a fact. It just it's all clean and nice underneath here. Everything looks good. Andrew worked on it a little bit, but he didn't have to spend much time on it. He just touched up some a few spots here and there. It, this has got the old style setup in it, because this truck is really just totally stock. It's got the uh, torque tube in here, and so the drive shaft goes through the center of this in here and again everything's clean you'll like this exhaust system you can see it looks like it's got dual exhaust on it well it doesn't now we're getting into the cab and as you can see the this cab here on this corner here looks great on this side all this looks good across here I mean we've looked this truck over and I don't think we've found any rust anywhere 
and I don't even know that we found any rust repair. I did notice on this side there's a little bit of, of uh, Bondo overlap, but you know, that's hard to tell because everything else looks good. It, probably when the guy painted it and stuff, he wanted a nice smooth finish. And again, when you see stuff like this, that tells me the cab was off of this thing because there's no way you're going to do that kind of work on it unless you do have the cab off. And then look at the rest of these floor pans. It all looks real good. And of course, I told you it didn't have dual exhaust. And here they put this connector in here and come down and go out. So it all uh, looks like a dual exhaust on the end, one end, but on the front end, it's single exhaust. All the under side of the running boards all look good and everything. There's the shutoff right up here for the uh, fuel tank. I mean, everything looks great. You can see how clean all this, uh, the transmission up here is all nice and clean. And again, the frame is clean. And again, lack of rust everywhere. Everything looks good and solid. Here's your master cylinder here for the uh, pickup, for the brakes. And all this looks good. Well, I see one of Andrew's mistakes right here. There's a little bit of blue paint here. The bottom of this thing, uh, it was... Uh, it was okay, but it wasn't great, so Andrew painted the bottom of it, but I see he got a drip. Anyway, you can see all this is nice and clean. Uh, you got the old original shocks up here. All the backing plates look good. And again, this has all been service and safety tech, uh, uh, old school garage in, in uh, Port Orchard. Joe did it, and I mean, everything looks clean and nice and solid. You'll like this truck. Now right there above the handle on the screwdriver, there's a little hole, a rust hole. That's the only rust we found on this. There's also another spot right in here, and I'm not totally sure if it's a hole or a bolt hole, and they worked on it. It looks more like a bolt hole that's been elongated and stuff. Have no idea for sure. That's a 216 cubic inch engine, the original engine, and it runs good. northbound and again we'll have to see how the traffic is it's pretty heavy out there so hopefully we can get a good video for you That's the nature of these trucks. They're not fast, but I, if you want them V8'd, we have those too. Now this will give you a chance to see the passenger side of this truck. It's great. I mean, 
it's not a rig to get in and drive to California in from Seattle where we're at. But you know, knocking about, even in traffic, in downtown traffic, they're great. Now you gotta remember the most of these are all manual transmissions. They're either a three-speed or a four-speed, unless something's been changed on them. That's the only way they came. We're back at Drager's Clubhouse, and I hope you enjoyed the drive so you get a good idea how this truck runs and operates on the freeway. And as you can see, it's, it's more for city driving than freeway driving. And if you're at all interested, give us a call, 206-533-9600. We'd be more than happy to talk to you about this truck and other trucks we get, because we do a lot of these trucks. I'm Andrew Drager, and if you have any questions about this vehicle, please don't hesitate to call or email us. I'm Jerry Drager, and we're a father-son team, and we hope you enjoyed the video and understand that we really try really hard to go over the vehicle with this video to show you everything. Doesn't mean that I get every single spot or anything else, but I try and Andrew and I both work really hard to make sure the vehicles are in top shape before they leave here. You got any questions, always give us a call or email us. We'd be more than happy to talk to you. We really invite you to come see them. And if you can't, you should have them inspected. I think it's really important to make sure you understand what you're buying.